Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Sherina Wahid with the top news of the day. Vehicles have increased on the roads, ignoring the restrictions. Checkpoints of RAB and police joint forces have been set up at the corners of the main roads of the capital. Legal action has been taken against those who have left the house besides emergency reasons. Members of the law enforcement agencies say that patrols will be increased in the neighborhoods to implement strict lockdown and illegal action will be taken. The BNP alleges that the government is deliberately obstructing Kalidasia's medical treatment. The parties organizing Secretary Said Imran Salih Prince made the allegation at a press conference on Saturday afternoon. He said the government is not standing by the people who have become unemployed in the lockdown. Meanwhile, Amalik General Secretary Ubaidul Qadir has called upon the government as well as party leaders and co-workers people, representative and the able body to stand by the people in tackling the disaster and says there is no shortage of money to help the people. The country is witnessing the horrors of corona infection and death. In the last 24 hours, 163 more people have died in the country with COVID infection. 11,525 people more have been infected. The condition of corona patients is getting worse every day due to ICU and oxygen crisis. The number of ordinary hospital beds is also decreasing at a geometric rate as the number of patients increases. Analysts are blaming the over of the health ministry for the catastrophe. However, the DG of the health department said ICUs could not be introduced in many hospitals due to lack of skilled manpower. Meanwhile, records of infections are being broken every day in different districts. Health Minister Zahid Malik said an agreement has been reached with Russia on the vaccine, adding that the Russian-made Sputnik V vaccine would arrive in Bangladesh this month. At least 150 people have been killed in shootings in the United States over Independence Day. There were 400 shootings across the country from last Friday to Sunday. In New York alone, there have been 21 shootings. There were shootings in 12 places on Independence Day, July 4. CNN reported this information in a report the death toll could rise further. Such clashes are rare in the United States during Independence Day celebrations. And that is all the news for today. Thank you for watching News 24. Please stay with us.